Hi, hello and welcome everybody. Hey, it is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with what I decided to go ahead and play on the Mayhem race for Path of Exile. Uh, I decided I wanted to play a Freeze Pulse Inquisitor. Not for any reason specifically, but mainly because I really wanted to play uh, a cold base caster because it's going to just feel so juicy to just freeze in all the invasion bosses. Or at least like majority of them. Um, so this is the character I decided on. Just to show you guys a little bit of how it's going to work, I'm just going to give you a, like a skill tree outline, nothing really too crazy. So the reason why we're going Inquisitor is Inquisitors bypass the need for like requiring penetration. So you can still essentially like uh, critical damage and you can go more defensive for your curses like Temporal Chains if you choose to. Uh, Inquisitor is also really good for like mobility via Instruments of Virtue and reducing elemental damage taken with augury which I think is really important with invasion bosses because you're going to have so many different types of spells flying at your face. So to start off um, you're probably going to go ahead and start obviously from here and move up into inspiration so you can grab an early mind over matter. This is going to make your character pretty tanky. Uh, you won't really need to run any auras beginning game. Nothing really matters too much. Uh, obviously if you want to run something feel free to. After this point, you'll pretty much just follow the tree. Uh, don't grab crit unless you decide you want to level crit, which is also totally fine. But for like newer players who like don't understand, I mean, you don't have to get like grab crit until later on. So just follow the tree. Whenever you really decide you need more HP, you have the entire Scion Life Wheel to pick up. So you can see it right here. This is 210% uh, life at like max level. I would probably say that most people are not really going to get to this point. So this is like a 103 build at one of like 190 life. So essentially, like I said, you're just going to follow it pretty much the whole way through and guide yourself. Now, this is the area that I wanted to add in that's extra, which is pretty much picking up acrobatics. Normally, I don't really grab acrobatics on my casters uh, just because it is kind of far out of the way. But since we're playing self cast, we do go to Vault Pact. And since we're pretty much trying to get life everywhere, we do actually come over and grab these kind of creepy life nodes. So this just puts us one step closer to acrobatics. And I think phase acrobatics, like I said before, with all the invasion bosses and breaches and everything, it's just going to be pretty nice overall. Um, so this is what our goal is. The only thing is that we do have to tackle Leech. Uh, Leech and Surviving Reflect. So since I don't really play much casters and I'm usually like playing like degen builds or trappers or summoners, something that doesn't require leech, um, I'm probably for now going to start off with an Azuri's Promise because Azuri's Promise does give you uh, quite a bit of nice sustain leech. Obviously you're not going to have this before mapping, you shouldn't really need leech before mapping, um, at least from my personal experience. So uh, you can also use like a cast and damage taken Warlord's Mark, so if you were to take a big hit. Uh, or like Reflect, for example, it'll immediately apply and you'll start getting your leech back. One thing to note is that Warlords is not the best for boss leech because of the way Curse Effect works, unless you have like a dedicated Cursor. The other options are like a Vingtar Flask and using a Life Leech Support Gem. Um, Life Leech Support Gem is probably like not the best option to use, but definitely should be an okay thing to do until you're able to swap into something else. And that pretty much covers the character. Uh, in terms of bandits, I'm pretty sure we're helping Alira since it is, what is it, elemental resistance, which is great for racing in early game. Uh, you also get critical strike multiplier, which is our main damage source. And the other alternate, or the other thing is you get, what is it, mono regen, mono, yeah, and then mono regen, or flat mono regen. Now, one other thing is, if you wanted to make this more like, I guess, like, right click and win, you could realistically go berserker. Um, Berserker is like pretty much good for almost any ascendancy because you do get the built-in leech with Pain Reaver um, and Berserker basically has the same exact thing as a boot enchant which is 2% of damage leeched as life and mana if you've killed recently that's another thing you would ideally strive for is getting the boot enchant so Berserker would give you the ability to pretty much just Pain Reaver and then you could go into like Cloaked and Savagery and then Crave the Slaughter and Aspect of Carnage um, the only reason why I'm not playing Berserker is I've already played Berserker like quite a bit. I don't want it to just be like, oh my god, all I play is Berserker. And um, for racing purposes, I don't really think it's the best in, I guess, again, because like the early game, you literally have no damage at all. Like you have nothing early game. It's just, you've got life and armor scaling, life regen, and just 
you know, face tank. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hop onto my stream because I won't really be able to answer the questions on day one. So, like I said, hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, I'll update the comments with like the links I'm going to be using specifically uh, once I get that going. So just feel free to refresh every so often. But like I said, hope you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. And I hope to see all of you guys in Mayhem League in POD.